check for advanced restart button here as you can see it's available and I'm directly booting into recovery using that if you don't have that use the traditional method to boot into recovery by pressing the volume up button and power button simultaneously this is the latest TWRP recovery available for POCO X6 slash NFC it's applicable for both the devices you can read the version I already made a dedicated video on that once it's booted in recovery go to wipe section and select your advanced wipe and select this dialog package catch catch emitted data and data swipe here to wipe it done again go to home section and select install and select the micro sd card wherever you downloaded the rom zip file go to that folder particular first flash always the firmware here i am flashing 13.0.1 uh, surya global only even if it is a device from india as i have indian device this is poco x3 you need to flash the same firmware that you need to keep in mind guys and again go to home and select here install and select the rom zip file flash here the rise to 13.0 2022 1216 this is the latest version i'll get a little bit closer okay it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully again go to home and select here wipe and this time you need to select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go to again home and select reboot and select the system this is how the simple how to flash a rise droid latest version for poco x3 slash nfc use the same firmware firmware whatever the device is x3 x3 nfc or global variant use the 13.0.1.0 global firmware for this poco x3 device and here we go it's booted into rise droid let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampathy watching sampath sam fx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews this is a rise droid you can see this is the latest version android version is 13 you can see here and 9.0 is the version update here happening in this particular device the surya or karna whatever it is and build version you can see 22 12 16 i mean december 16 build date and kernel user is 4.14.302 lineages kernel has been used rice dried means rising dried uh, rom not eating food rice or anything like that. this is a rice dried i mean the rising dried rom i mean it's a rising custom rom for poco x3 or poco x3 nfc or any other roms this is how the meaning it actually assembles not the eating rice or anything like that this is a rising rom and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last six minutes and seven seconds and seven milliseconds you can see the scores on the screen the maximum is 191 and average is 183 and minimum is 162 it's throttle to 95 percent of its max performance which is good there is no red line not even yellow line it's very good 95 percent of its max performance this is just synthetic benchmark are cpu throttling results in day-to-day -day performance also it's not going to throttle anything like that let's see and i also took some screenshot of charging speed here if you guys can see i hope so it is showing charging rapidly it takes a little bit of time guys whenever you use the charger it took a little bit of time then it is showing charging rapidly the uh, i mean fast charging is supported in this particular rom no need to worry regarding that and dialer you get this kind of dialer and there is a direct video call feature is also available in this rom you can definitely try it out and uh, is there any call recording we'll check out yes there is a call recording also and it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call that's good thing here the dialer used here is very good you can record the calls from this particular dialer and even you can make video calls direct from here and flashlight these toggles are also working fine as you can see camera access mic access you can enable or disable from here and screen recording options you can either record microphone and device audio and both also you can do here and some of the other options you can see in the screen recording and this how it is and dolby atmos is also added here moto do you need any app suggestion no if you want you can enable that and moto dolby atmos you can choose the headphone and choose here turn on this dolby atmos and use music movie game some of the other settings about you can see this is the version of 
Moto Dolby Atmos has been added here and home screen looks like this it's a little bit dark is here it's not completely transparent there are a little bit of theming done here that's a good thing and one more thing guys when you flash this ROM for the first time it directly boots into this home screen that's a really good thing for me at least I don't know what about you guys it's a good thing you directly come here and sign in into play store and install the apps that's it it's very simple in my opinion now starting the benchmark results from android benchmark you can see here meanwhile you can also judge the app opening time and 3 lakh 60,485 and temperature raise was 0.5 degrees celsius and battery drop is 2 percent is during this entire testing of android benchmark in this rise to 9.0 on this poco x slash nfc based on android 13 this is and some other benchmark like Geekbench you can see the single score performance 558 and multi score 1635 and Android 13 version Linux 4.14.302 Lineage OS kernel has been used which is good so far the battery draining is happening not a complete efficient ROM this is what we can see in uh, Spark OS or Arrow OS but still it's good the performance is really really good in this particular ROM safety net status it will get passed as you can see you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use them and even the google maps is also working fine carrier aggregation support is also working fine i have like 100 mbps fiber connection which is pulling up to the 80 to 90 you can check out here and typing experience is also good scrolling between apps and zooming in zooming out those things are also simple and useful in this particular room you can see 90 mps even with mobile data connection also it's working fine carrier aggregation support is also available in this room and fm radio still available and files you get this kind of file manager from here i mean google file manager all the apps you can see on the screen and there's a music application pre-installed here if you want to use or downloaded music files you can use that i don't think so many people use and the ott application to listen music also and the youtube is there but anyhow if you have any old audio files you can use that music player and the camera applications uh, this is arno build gcam i have installed manually and you can see the version this is the gcam i am always going to use in the poco x3 slash nfc even ultra wide angle also works fine in this particular camera application they gave this simple camera application if you don't want to use anything uh, G camera advanced mode then you can it's enough for you this camera application but I don't think so anyone use this simple camera but it depends upon your personal preference guys and uh, hope so I explained every app here and there's a quick settings panel it's also smooth here and uh, you know Android 13 just this is visually you get a change here and if I move into settings before that let me show you the home screen here home settings you get this kind of launcher and some of the customization available here and widgets again there are widgets there is no battery widget anyhow some of the other widgets like clock those are given and some oneplus widgets are also added here which is fine in my opinion and if i go here wallpapers and style there are no pre-installed wallpapers here if you want you can uh, install from third party uh, wallpaper applications and basic colors that's android 13 feature just four are given themed icons also you can choose the app from here it's a little bit different compared to what you see in pixel experience or pixel os roms this is a little bit different and app grid you get up to 5 into sorry 6 into 10 option is also given and now moving into actual settings you can see from here i go to settings and this is the settings panel it's also smooth here no problem whatsoever and here you get personalization here you get plenty of options here again i will start with device center you get block sensors game space mode is also given you can add the game from here and scarlet services and sleep mode is also given you can turn on turn off some of the options as shown on the screen lock screen again a lot more customization you can see here ripple effect temperature unit power menu locking scott shortcuts fingerprint error and authentication vibration battery information and ambient display you get again a lot more customization here Moving into miscellaneous, it's very important guys, whenever you use this miscellaneous settings, you need to enable this unlock high FPS in games and unlimited photo storage, then only you will get unlimited photo storage in Google Photos and high FPS count like games like PUBG Mobile or BGMI. Now other settings like notification, again you get plenty of customization, media, blur, 
you can enable or disable here from retick or some of the other options you can see on the screen and quick settings again there are a lot more options battery percentage you can hide and battery styles also there are a lot more customization available system information also you can enable or disable some of the other settings like columns landscape portrait you can adjust the intensity of it and status bar settings again here also battery cycle and the background chip you can enable or disable 4g icon also if you want you can enable that and brightness control clock and date colored icons if you want you can enable or disable from here and logo also you can enable here as you can see this is the rise red logo it's an rising os again i am explaining it out rising custom rom for poco xc it's not rice means eating food or anything like that style also you can customize i give it rice tried only they are misleading this rice ball don't think that much it's in rising os yes of course it's a very good rom available for poco xc slash nfc and sound and vibration you get this vibrate and connect call waiting and disconnect you can enable or disable from here user interface wise again there are a lot more customization you can even change the search bar style and setting styles and settings background and uh, what i change you can see here some of the icons are a little bit different and the uh, font also i changed here if and you can customize them those things are present in this particular rom and if i go into actual setting these are the personalization i mean the customizations available now actual settings you get again network and internet in the private dns you get lot more options here compared to some other roms this is little bit better in my opinion it depends upon you if you want to use anything and wallpaper sun style already explained display you get minimum and maximum refresh rate peak refresh rate kept to 120 and minimum is that the entire testing has been done with this particular settings enabled full screen apps also per app you can choose from here which is good thing and colors i kept boosted if want you can customize some other things night light feature is also working fine and one more thing dark theme i really like it they gave the option to give you pure black i mean everything will be in pitch black condition you can see here now it's in pitch black condition on the recent apps see the smoothness in the ui it's really really fine in my opinion let me disable this i can even schedule it out even the night light feature also some of the people asking about this in the previous room as you can see light light you can schedule that and intensity also you can adjust from here and this all the display settings you get here and uh, all the person style already explained apps you can choose your default apps if you want to change phone app to true color you can do that from here special app access and some of the other settings are given here even the notifications some of the enhanced notification notification light allow face unlock unlocks and these things are simple as available on any android 13 roms those are still available here nothing new here and battery you can see the some of the animations little bit better optimization profiles per app you can choose from here and daily battery usage chart also you can enable from here battery usage you can check out it hasn't recorded you can also see while start of the video and now it's currently 37 i mean the three percentage drop is minimal it's fine i can say i still need to test it regarding the battery life i don't think so it gives very good battery life as we expect from ros or was parkus but still it's good in my opinion you can rate it number third position for battery life after those what i explained right now and battery light options is also given per app refresh rate is also given from here and extreme battery saver options not given just battery saver options are included in this particular rom now going into sound and vibration you get basic sound volume panel styles realme ui and rise style and uh, direct sound settings are also given you can choose the headphone type and reset and also seen from here if want to in improve or enhance you can use this moto dolby atmos that i already explained and this all settings and vibration and haptics also good the vibration haptic feedback is also very good in this particular rom no problem regarding that and moving into accessibility menu this is very handy feature many people don't use that it's a very handy feature it's simply missing i hope so let's check out yeah the accessibility menu is missing here they need to add that in the upcoming builds i hope so and security features you get app lock or smart lock all those things and rom is encrypted by default and let me show the fingerprint unlock here as you can see it's quickest here and the wobbling effect is still available and now let me show you the face unlock it's also quick as you can see just see the phone it gets unlocked and double tap to sleep and double tap to wake you need to enable that 
those are working fine in my opinion i hope explained everything let's move into some other settings here like uh, system into gestures into swipe to three fingers in short double tap to wake is there i'm mean, sorry sleep is there one handed mode is also working fine no problem regarding that now move into system navigation into gesture navigation into settings there is an option to increase the pill radius but pill length is given but it is embedded in the screen display that i really don't like it then it to differentiate the pill length from the actual screen then it looks better in my open what you guys know let me know in the comment section below and uh, this how it is let's move into pubg mobile how it handles obviously it will handle in 90 fps let's see as you can see its graphics is set to smooth plus 90 fps you need to enable that in the miscellaneous settings and you can see here on the volume panel it's kept to 40% it's very very loud after a certain roms i am seeing this much of loudness in this particular rom only i'll decrease a little bit of that it's now 24% it's still louder in my opinion and smoothness is there still you can guess check out here increase a little bit of volume again 48% right now the game is handling correctly here as of now and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon when i upload like this video so you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like i will be motivated to make similar kind of videos and it's too loud in my opinion okay he's sitting here you can see there are no any frame drops or anything like that by the way i'm playing with wifi it depends guys if you play through mobile internet connection if it is uh, in different area then it will be a little bit difficult to play with mobile data connection i will come back here and this of the rise droid available for poco x version 9.0 based on android 13 you can see recent apps ram management is also fine i already tested it out for example if i can open this one internet connection you can see it's still in the memory the game okay right now it's moved to vertical here okay i'll come back here again to this one as you can see it's booted out of no it's in the memory that's how it is this is how the rise droid version 9.0 on poco x slash nfc i hope I explained everything if you like the video give it a like we'll meet you with another interesting video guys this is going to be a perfect rom available for poco x slash nfc if you are looking for rise droid rom which version you are seeking then you can go to this version the 9.0 the latest available version it's very smooth and very stable in here no cons as of now and this particular rom you can definitely try it out as a daily drive this is my recommended rom for this december build of rice dried and we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now